first thing to do is weigh out 102 grams of sodium bromide. There you go, that's 102. And now we dissolve it in as little water as possible. I'm going to do this in my 500 milliliter reaction flask. Okay, so the solution is almost clear and dissolved. So now we're going to add the 130 milliliters of 21% hydrochloric acid. You can use any percentage that you want. Mine just happens to be this, so you probably will need less if you use the 35%. And I'm going to put that into this 250 milliliter pressure equalizing addition funnel. Okay, let's measure that out now. Okay, now that we have it clamped up, we can measure out the hydrochloric acid and put it into here. Make sure that the stopcock is perpendicular to the flow of liquid. Next, I'm going to weigh out 78 grams of Omni Crystal Clear Multi Shock. There we go. At this point, you're going to need to put on your gas mask. Now, now we're going to add the sodium dichloroisocyanuric acid and put on your gas mask like I have on right now. <laughs> oh good, I spilled a lot of stuff everywhere. Great. Okay, so now we're going to turn on the flow of the condenser and start adding the hydrochloric acid. Look at this, this steady, look at this steady stream of distillate. I haven't had this in my whole life. Guys, look at this. It's beautiful. I did it, guys. It's As you can see, I'm coming up to the end of my distillation as my reaction flask has lightened up a lot and a good amount of product has been collected. Okay, so now what you're going to see me do is evaporate a little bit of water and you'll see the water move down this column pushing the rest of my last bits of bromine out. And uh, no worries about the water because we're going to remove it with, with sulfuric acid and uh, separate it. As you can see, uh, or I'll show, you, I'll show you, my flask has cooled down, so I'm going to take it apart and neutralize the bromine vapor and Br2 molecules to uh, bromide azing sodium sulfite. <laughs> Okay, as you can see, I have my bromine and a beaker. In this beaker, I'm going to put 50 milliliters of sulfuric acid. This will absorb the water contaminants in the bromine. And then we can separate it for experiments and storage. Man, 
and that that is quite a bit of bromine. As you can see, the bromine is separated from the sulfuric acid, and the water has been absorbed by it as well. Now let's separate it. As you can see, I finally ampulled the rest of my liquid bromine, and you may be able to see that I have professionally ampulled this as well. <laughs> no, just kidding. But what I actually did was, um, I took a Pyrex test tube, and I filled it with the rest of my bromine, and I torched the end, and I pulled off the top of the test tube, and it looked like this, and we got pure bromine. And you may be wondering how much it actually is. He's like, oh cool, his yield was crappy, but in, in reality, uh, yeah, it probably was. <laughs> but no, here's 30 grams of liquid bromine in just my element collection. It's so pretty and it's very different because it's heavy and the best part is it doesn't even leak so that's a pretty big- oh shoot. Okay, see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.